Oh, Val, Simon. Hi, Kenny, you alright, buddy? I've got Kelly up now. Morning, Brandon, how you doing? Uh, oh, got my mum and my dad watching together. That's exciting. Um, although, we've just lost some people. I'll give another couple of seconds, see if they're going to jump back in. Right, guys. What I'd like to do today is everybody hit that thumbs up button. Um, if you don't do that, I can't see who's watching. So if you give me a thumbs up or if you give me a comment, let me know you're either here, where you're from, what you're doing. That'd be amazing. Oh, there you call it. Nice one. All right, we've got five of us here. That's enough to start. So like I said yesterday, today uh, I want to talk about a bike ride that we went on. But I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'm going to talk about two separate events that I think are really important to, to the whole day, to the whole event, the journey, if you will. Um, so not being sure of Brandon's um, bike riding ability, not being sure of his confidence or competence, um, we took him to a place called Capital of Cycling. It's in the middle of Bradford. And this place is an amazing charity that helps people um, get on two wheels, or four as our case. Um, so you, you go down, you talk to them, they've got a, a wonderful facility where they'll fix up bikes, they'll show you, teach you the skills to fix your own, um, they'll, they'll, yeah, they're just a great charity. Um, if you're ever in Bradford Centre, pop down, say hello, they've got some wonderful, wild and wacky um, contraptions um, for you to have a play with. Um, and they've also got loads of fleet bikes that you can discuss with them to borrow and rent out. So this first picture, this is Brandon on a, um, a road drop handle trike. Um, I had a play on it too. It was fantastic to ride. Um, and Brandon took to it like a duck to water straight away, um, just weaving in and out of this facility. So this is where we're at. We're at the, the Capital of Cycling's um, test track. Um, and we're just bobbing around. Um, then we spoke about wanting to ride together. Again, not be sure of his confidence out in the wild. So they gave us this... Um, this Chuckle Brothers bike. So this is a four wheeled, two pedal, two drivetrain, one steering, two braking. Um, the two braking is important um, because I had no idea that Brandon kept squeezing the brakes. I'm thinking I'm pedaling really hard and he's laughing at me because he's trying to stop me. That was nice. So again, we just bobbed around, we weaved, we took it in turns. Um, he rode and steered for a bit, I rode and steered for a bit. Um, there was about six or seven bikes that we rode this day from the recumbent, the really far back lay downy ones, um, tandems up in front, more go-karty type things, um, some that steered the wrong way and, and, and ones with seats. So I did all the work and Brandon just enjoyed the ride. Um, then he came to the big day about, a, about three weeks later. Um, we spoke to my manager, to our boss. We got a truck, we got his truck. Um, we've put mine and his bikes in there, went to pick Brandon up, um, we put his bike in the back, he has his own trike, it's an amazing contraption. Um, but we had a flap, so we had to figure out how to get some, I think, 20, uh, 24 inch wheels for Brandon's. Um, they're not universal um, sizes to get the wheels off, so we bought a couple of spares, we pumped it up and we hit the trail. Um, and. We had a couple of tuning issues, a couple of components on, on a few bikes weren't as tight and, and true as they should be, a couple of handlebars dropping, um, brakes not being as quite as keen as we'd like. But we got going, we got away, and we rocketed down the greenway. Um, our brand has always been quite a nice chap, he'll always say hi to people as we go by. On a bike, however, <laughs> by the time he said hi, he's, he's so fast, he, they, they were gone. Um, but we, we loved it. We were all out. We uh, we plodded along. We were riding alongside um, other members of the public. They'd, they'd join us for part of the ride and we'd tell our story. They'd tell their story. And, and it was a, a lovely ride. The weather um, was beautiful. The pictures really don't do it justice. Um, so that's John. Um, he's riding up front for a little bit. Um, this was either just before or just after uh, John went and did the uh, Lethal Canal on that bike. So this was either part of his training or part of his cool down afterwards um, and, and yeah we, we genuinely had a great time we, uh, we ended up stopping at a supermarket at the end of the ride before we turned around and come back to the greenway and we met this old gent who I believe he was in his 80s um, road rider uh, outdoor instructor um, ex-military I believe he was um, he'd ridden some of the most 
fantastic trails across the world and he was telling his stories that were genuinely envious. He was a climber as well, told some great stories, some great days down the hills. Um, anyway, we all had an ice cream, I think, had his lunch and, and started trugging back um, through the tunnels, um, making all kinds of silly noises. Um, and this is, uh, if you look in the back there, this is John flagging a little bit, all his training for what. Um, we, um, we're getting up some hills and Brandon, the terrain, he did not care. He, he kept a consistent cadence and he, he smashed through it. Um, <clears throat> and as always, a good day finishes in the park. Um, so Brandon sat in his swings and John fixing a flat. Um, cause it's not a good ride unless you need to repair something, is it? Um, and that, that was our couple of days. Um, we've spoke about doing it again since. We've been a little bit uh, busy building other things. Um, it's something I really want to do um, is get a couple of us, have another big group ride. Um, it was it was just, I just can't express how much of an amazing day it was. Um, excuse me. Um, yeah, um, the bikes all performed brilliantly. Um, we all rode really well as a group. Brandon absolutely loved it. Um, we got to cover distance that you wouldn't normally see and Brandon can cover distance um, So an average walk just for reference is about eight kilometers ten kilometers. So we're probably 15 maybe 18 K um, once we um, uh, Worked it all out there and back maybe six seven each way um, And then messing around at the park at the end um and we took the bike home, we, we put it back where it lives, uh, and me and John drove home, dropped my stuff off, and I'll be honest, it, it didn't feel like a day's work, it, it felt like hanging out with my mates, um, and, and Brandon, you were fantastic mate, um, you rode really well, um, and we got you home, you had to go on swings, um, and, and yeah, that's, that's kind of it. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to talk about tomorrow uh, or next week. Um, I'm kind of covering about a month's worth of our adventures each week. So we've done July. This is the stuff we did in August. Um, this drive was in September, so this is kind of transitioning to next week's topic. Um, and we'll just go through. So again, just give me a thumbs up if you're watching. Uh, drop a comment, tell me what you've enjoyed. Um, I'm going to sign off now, I think. There's, there's not much more to talk about. Um, other than I'll see you tomorrow. All right, take it easy, guys. Bye now.